आज हम पढ़ेंगे साइकिडियोडिया साइकिडियोडिया एक जिम्नोस्पर्म है जो कि एक्सटिंक्ट हो चुका है वो प्रीडोमिनेटली पाया जाता था मेजोजोइक एरा में और इसकी जो हैबिट है वो साइकिस को रिजेंबल करती है ये एक फॉसिल प्लांट है इसलिए इसकी जितनी भी इंफॉर्मेशन है वो फॉसिल की स्टडी से ही मिलती है लेट्स स्टार्ट साइकिडियोडिया डिविजन साइकिडियोफाइटा क्लास साइकिडियोपसिडा ऑर्डर साइकिडियोडियल्स फैमिली साइकिडियोडेसी जेनिस साइकिडियोडिया इट इज़ आल्सो नोन एज बेनेटाइटिस और बेनेटाइटिस आल्सो कॉल्ड द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट ऑफ मेजोजोइक एरा साइकिडियोडिया इज ओनली जेनिस ऑफ फैमिली साइकिडियोडेसी व्हिच इंक्लूड्स बेनेटाइटिस एंड रॉनेरिया मोर देन थर्टी स्पीशीज हैव बिन रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम जोरासिक टू अपर क्रस्टेशस एरा ऑन रॉक्स ऑफ यूरोप एंड नॉर्थ अमेरिका एक्सटिंक्ट इन लोअर क्रिटेशियस एरा फॉर्सल यूजली आकर इन फॉर्म ऑफ पेट्रीफैक्शन दिस इज द हैबिट ऑफ साइकिडियोडिया इट हैज पिन इट लीव्स स्ट्रॉबेरिस स्टेम द एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ साइकिडियोडिया द प्लांट शोज रिजेम्बलेंस टू साइकिस द ट्रंक ऑफ साइकिडियोडिया आर शॉर्ट एंड स्टाउट but in some species they attained a height of 3 to 3.6 meters and diameter of 60 cm they were usually unbranched but a few of them were branched near the ground into clusters of short trunks the stem were covered by persistent leaf bases each leaf was pinnately compound up to 10 feet long and had parallel venation in their leaflets the internal structure stem transverse section of stem shows circular or irregular outline epidermis was not distinct cortex parenchymatous and had many ducts probably of mucilaginous ducts the large central breath was surrounded by ring of conjoined collateral open and endarch primary vascular bundles the secondary xylem was in form of band interrupted at many places by broad medullary rays showing the wood was monozylic the leaf traces departed from the wood in spiral sequence and entered directly into the leaf through the cortex this is the figure of stem it contain it had it had remnata cambium xylem leaf traces mucilaginous canal medullary ray pith phloem the leaf the leaf of psychidioidea contain cuticle upper and lower epidermis stomata was found only on lower epidermis mesophyll was differentiated into palisade cells and spongy parenchyma chlorophyll was present in these cells to perform photosynthesis vascular bundle was collateral and conjoined distinct bundle sheet was present on upper and lower epidermis this is the structure of leaf it has cuticle upper epidermis palisade cells phloem xylem vascular bundle bundle sheet parenchyma lower epidermis and stomatal opening reproduction the reproductive organ that is microsporophyll and ovule were organized in form of angiospermic flower the flower were partially sunken and found in axil leaf bases on lateral shoot a large number of flower were observed on the same trunk and all of them were found to be on same developmental stage single flower each flower has had short peduncle it was surrounded by large number of pinnate bracts these bracts were arranged spirally on the septal and closed over the outer floral part leaving an appearance of perianth of the flower surrounding the endosium and gynosium in budding stage the flower was of bisporangiate nature it had two types of spore on the same plant the fertile shoot was surrounded by 10 to 20 pinnate compounds microsporophylls microsporophyll a whorl of stamen a microsporophyll about 20 in number were present above the bract each microsporophyll 
were pinnately branched. Each pinna had two rows of bean-shaped microsporangia or pollen capsules which were surrounded resembling selangia. Each selangium had many pollen, about 20 to 30 in number. The pollen grains were oval in shape, measuring up to 68 mu in length. This is the structure of microsporophyll. It had a, it has a sterile point, ovulate strobilis, microsporophyll. These microsporophylls were fertile in nature and were borne by the bra um, sorry. Central axis bract. The megasporophyll or ovule. Megasporophyll or ovule was strong and numerous. They were borne over a conical or dome shaped receptacle. A large number of interseminal scales were scattered among them. Each ovule was small, about 1 mm in length, and was androtrophous. The integument was three layered and fused with nucellus. Except at the apex, the nucellus was expanded to form nucella B and pollen chamber, indicating that male gamete were ciliated. This is the figure showing female or megasporophyll. It had stalk ovules. Megasporophyll had a stalk, bract, integument, interseminal scales, and receptacle. Embryo and seed. A seed had a hard integument, testa, and a large dicotyledonous embryo. It was exalbuminous. It is believed that endosperm must have degenerated at the time of maturity. This is the figure showing seed and embryo. It has interseminal scales, pondal chamber, nucellus, embryo, the chalazal opening of the nucellus, and pedicel. Thank you.